Hey, the Iowa Whitetail Hunter here. It's uh, coming out here for the Rock and Bee. I think it's September 8th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the crossing's held up good. We, uh, that EHD just slammed us super hard. I think we're counting at 460 for Warren County, and uh, I think you have to take that times six to get an actual count of people that haven't turned them in and ones that haven't been found, but there's been 20 bucks on the 40 across from me just in one ditch line found. Big bucks. I've seen some really nice bucks that all dead, and I'm not showing up with any on my cameras right now, so I don't know. It's I think it's really really put the slam down to us. Probably worse than 2012 as far as what I can see, but we'll see how it turns out. It slowed down a little bit, but uh, I kind of want to come back out here today with this I haven't said nothing about this green screen. I've had uh, the worst year ever for growing anything. Floods, all spring, too much rain for everything, nothing to grow, and then straight into it didn't rain the whole year. And this green screen didn't even attempt to grow. I thought it was a dud. You get one bag, it, it does uh, a ton of ground. And uh, I hit it with urea a month or so ago once. It's fairly easy to plant. And uh, this used to be a major deer trail down through this side by the fence. And it got so much, the water was running down there and starting to wash out everything. And I planted this in here. And uh, it's supposed to get 12 feet tall. Is it 12 feet tall? Probably not. I don't know if it'll keep growing here still yet this year. I'm not going to put no more fertilizer on it because it's doing its purpose for me. But some spots are a little shorter than other spots. It depends on the shade and the rain and the sun. <coughs> But I run this all the way down my fence line. I mean, a bag will go forever. You can't, it goes clear down to my bottom food plot and clear back up to my house. <clears throat> but when you wait in here, I'm six feet tall and I got this at eye level. So this is why the deer ain't wanting to even walk through here. Look how thick this stuff is. You can't even get in here. And I can't even reach the top of them, so. Not 12 feet tall, but at eye level, being six feet tall, this definitely co constitutes cover. And the deer don't like to walk through it for some reason. It's a pretty, pretty stiff plant. But they ain't making no trails through it. I run it down there, run it all the way down there, run it up both sides of that food plot, ran it across a couple other into the food plot down here so people couldn't see into them. Spooked the deer quite so easy. I'm pretty well tucked in there. In like a island on my own property, but if somebody goes out for a four-wheeler ride or something and they see them, they seem to run. If they don't see them, they don't mind the sound. So, I just wanted to give you kind of an update on it, but I'd have to give a thumbs up to that green screen <clears throat> for the type of year we had. And all the problems that are still coming through for me. I started it way up there. But that area is really marshy all year. And I don't think, you know, this is like a sorghum, you know. It doesn't like a real swampy area, I don't think. So, I don't know, but it's, I'm pretty satisfied with it on a year. It's hard to get it to grow in. But uh, this Iowa Whitetail Hunter, and uh, we'll talk at you next time.